My name's Sarah Whitehead, I live in Huncourt, Accrington. When I've been out on the streets with a camcorder talking to people, the negativity, it just depresses me. Another reason why I think it's positive is because a lot of people can't see outside the estate. Well, this opens your eyes to like travelling and stuff. When I talked to a few people, they were, they didn't want to travel. You know, you have, you have your uh, hopes and that, what you want to do when you grow up. They were none of that. Well, this is showing them a different side of things outside Huncourt Estate. It's really sad because Huncourt in general has had all these different projects before and they've all fell through. And what I remember is, from like 10 years ago when I lived here before I left at 14, where they used to have like disco up here where you've got these stairs, so every Friday they'd have a disco here. They've got like the youth club, but a lot of youth don't go to it because they're put off with like how it's all, um, they can't, they can't be bought. You know, like up the disco, you pay to get in and then you'd be up there like dossing with your mates, but with that it's a bit more formal for people. Like they've tried in the church and to me it's too formal again. That's just my opinion. Where we used to be around the corner is um, the laundrette it used to be, and that used to be like the where everyone would go to keep warm in winter because they did put their heat to the No. Um, so they used to have a laundrette, and then at the very end they used to have Margie's, the corner shop, that would give you a tick. So no one ever seemed to go hungry on the estate. And I keep going on about these memories, but it's a shame because every other place around here seems to have loads going on, but. This area seems to be forgotten, so it's just been left. But that used to, and then there were two flats in the middle that are boarded up, and they go upstairs. And there used to be people living in there. There's even a green across the road, but people are complaining about them playing football and stuff. But it would help if there were lights on the field, but there isn't even lights on the field for him to go in the dark. But it's just a shame, this used to be a chip shop. So it used to be like a good community. How long has it been like this? It's about nine years, ten years, more, more. Is it 15 years? 15 years it seems to be like a void bit. Because even when I used to come up visiting here, it would run down, it like run down. Where no one cares, do they? Mm. But it's a shame because this generation, their parents used to care. So it's like the next generation down of nothing. This is why I think it's good things like the um, People's Voice Media that connects communities. Because they need a bit of hope, these kids. I know I sound like a preacher, but they do need something that's not just making them doss every night out shops. There's something to talk about with this place being open. You know, when I see them in the street and that, making like films and interviewing people, they're all excited. So I do really hope that it stays open, because I'd be gutted if it don't. Um, I've brought you down to where these most houses are boarded up on Windermere and on Withing Grove. And it's a shame because looking at them, if I were a teenager being brought up in these circumstances, I'd think it's depressing. And I understand now when I've talked to them, when I've been interviewing them and that, to do with the connecting people's voice media connecting community place. I understand where they're coming from. You just have to walk around and you're just fed up, which is a shame because I remember it 10 years ago, if it were 15 to be exact, and it were a thriving community. We had an ice cream van, everyone were out in garden. Summer, they used to block ends of the the roads off and we'd all have barbecues, and but well, there don't seem to be any of that anymore, which is a shame, really, because it's my generation of children that are going to be living in these circumstances. Well then they wonder about, I know you shouldn't blame like their upbringing and that, but to be waking up with boarded up houses like this, looking through your window every morning, it's not going to really make you happy, is it? It's just a shame. And they're dangerous. I can't understand how this place has been forgotten, it's like it's stuck in time. It makes you wonder how it's got to this. You know how it's got to this state, I don't... And because I've not lived here for them like 10 years, I don't understand. Which is why I think it's good about the internet access and that, with the project going on up on the shops, because the kids can voice their opinions and say when they're not happy and that. Instead of... Uh, they can go up there, have cups of tea, socialise, 
And it's interesting because it's where you live, so you should care about where you live. You shouldn't have all this negative. And that's it, I finished. I can't think of anything else, I was scraping the barrel.